first turbine was uh, was first erected in 1982, and in 1999 we upgraded and we built the second turbine. Our first turbine broke down, and so we were down to one turbine and two generators to supply the whole island. So the power was going off at half past 11 at night, not coming back on until half past seven in the morning. They came to Highlands Islands Enterprise and the Shipman Islands Council, and they said, we want to do something about this. The key partner that kind of kicked the whole uh, process off was actually Scottish Water because they undertook a feasibility study. They were needing more power for their system. We talked to Scottish Water and they gave us money funding at the start. You needed to have a more reliable and resilient infrastructure on the island. This is Borehole 1 and Borehole 2. There's, they're no pumping at the moment, but we've got... My name's Ian Best. I'm the water operative here in Fair Isle. Even though it's a small place, we've got quite sensitive equipment here. When your power isn't on at the night time, then you're in some ways you're playing catch-up and sensitive monitoring equipment, they, they don't like going off and on. Having power 24 hours a day is make a huge charge because that'll you know, make everything settle down. The interruption to a su power supply is the last thing that, that you want. So this is, this is the new control system, like we run the, the island turbines. The whole point of our development plan was, not, was to, A, to get the infrastructure into place, B, build more houses, and you can't build houses unless you've got a reliable power system. Getting up in the middle of the night just to go to the toilet and not having lights is not very nice. And from the other point of view, if you've got a young family, children are not well in the middle of the night and you've got no power, there's nothing worse than trying to light a candle to nurse a sick baby. You could have reversed it in like that. Oh yeah. Theoretically, it could mean we could knit 24 hours a day, but I mean, that's not realistically going to happen. I think it'll just strengthen the community as a whole and I think that will bring an improved infrastructure of any form um, on the island, will help secure new people and also maintain the people we have, um, and that could increase your workforce. My full name is Katrina Thompson, and I come from Sutherland, and I've been here for over 50 years. When I came here first, you were lucky if you got half an hour electricity in the summer. In the winter, the electricity came on when it started getting dark, and then it was off at bedtime. So this, to have electricity all the time, will be great. It really will. The diesel is shipped in in large quantities and it's expensive to run. This will offer a more affordable way to, for people to heat their houses and, and power their, their homes and their businesses. We all have different jobs to do. I would gladly give up one or two if some young people want to come and live on the island. <laughs> We've all got to retire eventually, so you want to have people here to take over the job, keep it going for the next generation. That's all, we're doing it for the next generation. Although I shouldn't say that really. <laughs>